What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to answer a question you've been asking me for probably a good year or more since you learned I'm a little bit of a knife fanatic. I'm not quite, not really, I'm not necessarily a knife fanatic, but I like the utility of knives. Not necessarily a utility knife, but I like a knife for the utility of it. This is one of my favorite knives. But the question that you all ask is, hey, how do you touch up your knife? How do you sharpen your knife? Today, you're gonna get the answer. Every once in a while, if, I, if I'm at home and I need to touch up the knife real quickly, uh, I'll run the knife over a kitchen steel. I will, and I, I get pretty good results with it. With some of my other Spyderco knives with SS30 uh, and S90V steel, but with this Sprint Run, Power 3 Sprint Run, you can see it's well worn. I've been, I've been rocking this knife for, it's gonna be, it's gotta be 10 months. Every day, I love this knife. My favorite, favorite knife. This is a Sprint Run from Blade HQ. It's sporting CPM S110V steel. Okay, it's got the blue scales. It is a sprint run, and I will say this much. I know this video is not about the, the knife, per se, but if you're looking at Spyderco knives, I owe, own a few. I've noticed that the sprint runs, on top of having like a cool color scale, you know, handle, and upgraded steel, the centering on the knives seems better. The, the operation, the smoothness of, of the knife, the deployment, is better. It seems like for the extra 20 bucks or whatever it may be for a sprint run, it seems like you get a better knife. That's just what I've noticed. But because it has that harder blade steel, I guess I could run it over over the, the sharpening steel and could touch it up fairly quickly, but it's not going to give me the sharpest edge. So when I have a chance, I will run my knives over the Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker. Now, I have broken the tip off of one of my other knives. I think it was my Manix 2 Extra Large. And I was able to use the Sharp Maker to put, put a new edge and a new point on the knife. Is this, would this be ideal? I, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you could use something else that would be maybe more aggressive than this kit, but it worked. So, will it work? Sure it will. Is there something else better? Maybe, I don't, quite frankly, I don't know what it is. So, I like it for touch up, quick touch up, and it's fairly, fairly easy to do, and fairly quick. The one thing I like to do before I touch up my knives, is I like to clean it. So all I'll do is I'll grab some acetone. If you don't have acetone, maybe you have nail polish remover. That's all nail polish remover is, is acetone. And you wanna just, at least I do, wanna clean the edge of my, my knife blade because I open a lot of boxes, tape, envelopes. That's really the, the main duty of this knife, EDC. That's what it does. And what happens is, is those sticky materials, those sticky building materials, whatever you wanna call them, they leave a residue on the knife. So I like to make sure that it's all off before I attempt Ow, and as you can see, the blade's now clean. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sharp maker. There's two sets of stones that will come in your sharp maker, and you can see these are used, right? We're gonna start with the more aggressive of the two, which are the brown stones, the brown stones. Okay, now, you're going to want to Unless you are putting a new 
edge on your knife, you, this is just for touch up, okay? You're gonna wanna stick to the 40 degree edge bevel, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna get your blades and you, it'll be marked down here, edge, 40 degree. Now, there is another set of slots for 30 degree back bevel and sometimes your knife manufacturer, your knife maker, you know, they could make their bevel at an all different manner of a blade bevel. But, pretty much, you're gonna wanna stick with the 40 degree edge bevel. Now, when you first insert your, your, your stones, and these are basically stones, when you insert them, you're gonna wanna ins you know, do your first passes with your knife, okay, on, on this pointed edge. Now, literally, there's a whole bunch of science behind how this triangle shot maker works, okay? But basically, all you're gonna do, and it's very important that you do, is you're going to pass your blade down the stone. You're going to make sure it's perfectly straight when you do it. Okay, when you do that, when you pass this, when you hold your, your blade straight up and down, okay, straight up and down against these stones, what that does is that creates that perfect blade edge angle. Now, for touch-up, generally what you'll do is, you'll start with these pointed sides, you'll run each side of your blade down the stone 10 times, okay? So one, one, that's it, okay? Now, you'll repeat the process. You're gonna spin the stones to the flat side. Okay? Now, depending on how much touch up your blade requires, you might need to do more. If you have nicks in your blade, for instance, if you have, like, you hit a staple or something when you're cutting open a box, you got a nick in your blade. You might need to do more strokes on the stones on this pointed side, okay? So you might need to go 20, 30, 40 to get that nick out of your blade. Once you have the nick out, then you move on to your flat edges. So this is the most aggressive of the stones in this kit and this side is the most aggressive for repairs. You're gonna to wanna to continue until you have that nick out of, your, out of your blade, if you had a nick. Once that nick is out, then you'll flip them to the, to, to the flat side to further hone, okay, the blade. I know all of the responsible people out there concerned with safety are really gonna get on me with this, and rightfully so. I got so ahead of myself that I, when demonstrating, forgot to install the guards. And why are these guards so important? Because if you were to slip, these two, these two rods would keep your hand safe, okay? So make sure, please, that you're installing them first and not getting all excited that you're gonna get to play with your knives because that's exactly what happened to me, and you were gonna sharpen it up, put your, put your guard on before you go to work. Now, once you do 10 on this side, 10 on this side, you can place these back in the sharp maker, okay, to store them. You're then gonna go to your, your very fine stones, okay? This is to pretty much hone your blade. It's gonna put a, help to start put a really fine edge on your knife. Now, do you need to go with these white, white blades, or white stones? Not necessarily. 
you for a utility blade just sharpening along this pointed edge might be enough for what what you need to do but if you wanted a really super sharp edge then we would have to go through the, on the white stones I'm going to show you how to do that right this second now as you can see we've only finished with the brown stones for a utility blade it, it still is fairly sharp I mean is it hair shaving uh, it's good enough to cut paper it's doing a little bit of tearing I think we can get that a little bit sharper so let's do that we repeat the process on the pointed edges of the stone and what you're doing is when you're when you're running down the stone you you're not you're not coming straight down okay what you're doing is you're swiping down you're swiping down so you're hitting and honing the entire edge of the blade okay so we're swiping down we're not just pushing down we're swiping down in that straight motion so that we're honing the entire length of the blade okay we're holding straight because we want to only if you if you tilt the knife off in any in any direction you're going to change the degree of the bevel and you don't want to do that okay so once you then come down the stones and quite frankly this is here just to secure the stones in place but you can as you're as you're using your edges on the stones you can run down this side of the stone so don't be afraid oh, I can't use that side of the stone it's fine okay once we get to the flat sides then we're going to do once again why did I do 15 instead of 10 because if, if 10 is good 15 is even better just remember the more you're running down the, the stones the more you're honing so now just be mindful that cutting cardboard and paper can dull a blade so once you're at your desire you feel that you're you're sharp enough you can touch up the blade once again with the flat sides of the stone if you feel that you've not honed your blade enough you could always go back or if you notice that there's a nick you didn't see before you could always backtrack through the process maybe even start back over with the with the brown rods if you feel that your knife's not as as honed as it could be you could start back with the pointed sides this is what I use on the daily to keep my knife sharp enough <laughs> for my EDC and it works really well for me and I feel like practical information from guys on YouTube that show you how they keep their knife sharp then smash the like button also if it's your first time here you're going to want to get subscribed because we do cool videos like this all the time you're also going to want to tap the bell notification. We also publish emergency tool deal videos here and there. You're never going to want to miss them. I mean, we've helped people save thousands of dollars on tool deals. I mean, why spend thousands on a tool when you can spend hundreds? With that, I want to say, I hope this information was helpful. What do you use to sharpen your knives? You use the kitchen steel. Do you use the shop maker? Do you use a leather shrop? What do you use? I want to know. Do you carry a knife every day in your pocket? If you do, what do you carry? Why, if you don't, why don't you carry a knife? I think it's pretty useful. Unless some people get freaked out when you whip out a knife, like it's weird, like, you know, like at a party. Oh, hey, let me help the kids open their toys. You know, you whip out your knife. Whoa, like where'd that knife come from? But, you know, the more people are around you, okay, and they realize how useful it is, 
you think to yourself, like they think to themselves, wow, that's pretty useful. And then more and more people start carrying knives because they're useful, they're a tool. And I like being prepared. And I like when people have problems getting something open, I like being the guy to help them solve the problem and get it open. And if you like that, you tap the like button. With that, I wanna say I appreciate every single one of you being here. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Is this exactly the way? I mean, they have an entire DVD and all kinds of online literature to show you how you can shop and all kinds of stuff, even like kitchen scissors, all kinds of stuff. Go and check it out. It's on Spider Co's website. Maybe it's on YouTube as well. But I wanted to make a quick video show you how I quickly touch up my knife. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. Thank you.